Since 2019, the Boni administration has continued to implement policies and programs to bring more development to Yobe states. The government is using its policy trust of continuity, consolidation and innovation to execute developmental projects in the Northeast states. Welcome to another episode of Impact Yobe, where you get information about developmental issues in the pride of the Sahel. My name is Michael Oshoma. Officials of the Ohanese Support Group in Yobe State have drawn support for the second term bid of Governor May Malabuni and the Tinubu Shetima presidential ticket in the 2023 elections. The leader of the support group, who is also the special advisor to the state governor on non indigenous affairs, Anayo Izinwa, noted that the group intends to mobilize all Igbo residents in the state to vote for the APC led administration in the coming elections. Uh, the purpose we organizing this program is to uh a way of supporting the APC in the state, in the Yobe state. You know, Yobe state is an APC state. Yobe state is an APC state to appreciate him for what he has done to the Igbos and the other tribes, the non-indigenous of the state. And that's the reason why I organized this forum, this support group for the APC to the national and to the state to give them support they will support to campaign for the APC in the state. This here uh, makes me very happy and I'm very grateful because this disabuses the rumors that uh, Igbo people will not vote for Tinubu. And here in Yobe, the story is not like that. This proved to us and proved to the whole world that Yobe community will vote for Tinubu, Kashim, and all APC aspirants in Yobe state. No difference. The Boni Gubana Women and Youth Network has inaugurated zonal and local government coordinators in Zone A Senatorial District of the state. One of the aims of the group is to garner support and enlighten people at the grassroots to get their voter card and vote for candidates of the All Progressives Congress in the state and at the national level. The secretary of the group shared more light on what they stand for. Part of the effort towards this is, you know, politics starts from the grassroots. And for us in Bunugubana Women and Youth Network, we believe that we can only mobilize people in the grassroots. This is where the real voters come from. So today we inaugurate the zonal representatives as well as the local government representatives, which we believe the local government coordinators will go back to their respective local government and inaugurate what coordinators. And from what coordinators, they will, the what coordinators will inaugurate unit coordinators. This is to tell you the channel of communication in politics. It starts from the unit to what, from what to local government, then from local government to senatorial district, from central district to state. So for us, we believe that we have to make sure these stages of communication is not missed. And this is how we can mobilize people. Ours is not only to get votes for APC. Yobe is an APC state. Uh, sure, we are going to get the votes for APC, but we want to get our votes in numbers. We want to double the number of votes as compared to that of 2019 for His Excellency Ashwa Jubal Ahmed Tinubu and Kashim Shetima as his running mate, as well as our dear Governor, His Excellency Governor Maimala Buni, C.O.N. Uh, Chiroma Ngujiba. Yobe is known to be an APC state. Our governor happened to be a former uh, caretaker chairman of the party. So we want to prove to Nigerians that yes, Yobe is indeed for APC, and Governor Maimala Buni has been a forefront fighter for APC, and we can only do this by giving out a high number of votes for APC. Some politicians who graced the event expressed optimism that the APC will retain power in the state in the forthcoming elections. A network or mobilization outfit is to mobilize people to come out in mass to cast their votes during the 2023 election. It is a preparatory. You know, the campaign is set. We have now started in Yobe uh, promoting these uh, groups. Uh, to go to the, their wards, units, local government areas, to mobilize people, one, to collect the PVCs. The women are coming together to organize themselves, to talk to themselves, you know, to galvanize supporters to our party, the APC, and then the success or the victory of 2023, inshallah, and 2023 to APC. The Yobe people is um, to call on them to continue to support this administration 
and to continue to give um, all necessary um, advice to our leaders and also to come in mass to, to elect all those flag bearers of APC from top to bottom. It was basically aimed at mobilizing youth and women especially uh, to Ghana vote, in fact, for the next coming election uh, in respect of the presidential election uh, for uh, His uh, Excellency Bola Matinubu and His Excellency Kashim Shatima as Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And you can see that the youth and the women had accepted this call and you can see the, 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 the turn of the, the massive turnout here. So this has indicated that these people are happy, exactly are happy and accepted the, 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 you know, the policies of His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Yobe State, who has embraced the youth and the women all together. I can see our movement, this government, how it moves. We have carried them alone, the youth and the, the women were carried alone. You can see them in various positions in the government, the, both the women and the, 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 the youth. The Yobe State Government has reiterated its commitment to implementing new salary structure and promotion for teachers in the state. The Executive Chairman of the State Universal Basic Education Board, Professor Musa Alabe, gave the assurance at a teachers' conference in Putiskum. Professor Alabe noted that Governor May Malabuni is passionate about enhancing welfare and well-being of teachers, stressing that they are major stakeholders in the development of the state. No meeting of the Union of Teachers here in Yobe and it is one of those uh, events that uh, bring teachers together for the enhancement of their welfare and well-being. So this year's conference is also for election of uh, their public uh, officials. And one of those things we told them is uh, their promotions are very much in our mind. Teachers are, high, are, very, are core to you know, the development of the state. Without teachers, I will not have been here. Without teachers, you will not have been doing this your work. So we acknowledge the role of teachers and uh, we told them we shall partner with them to enhance the welfare and well-being of teachers across the state. My advice is they should work harder while we are also looking at ways to enhance their welfare. The state governor, al Hajime Malabuni, is very much uh, passionate about trying to help them to, you know, to increase their welfare, to increase, you know, their benefits so as to enhance our educational outlook. In an interview with Impact Yobe, chairman of the state chapter of the Nigerian Union of Teachers appealed to the state government to implement promotion of teachers and the minimum wage. I call on the Yobe state government to please uh, try and implement the promotion of the teachers that, were, that, were, that the letters have been given to them. Please in, uh, include teachers in their own occupiers and then look at the condition of the salary of the teachers because we are far below the, the other staff, more especially the state staff in the state. So the local government staff salary is below. The Yobe State Government has rewarded one of its teachers, Zainab Gambo, with gifts for emerging as one of the top 10 teachers in Nigeria as a just concluded Maltina Teacher of the Year competition in Lagos. The reward is to motivate and encourage other teachers in the state to excel. Receiving Zainab in his office, the State Commissioner for Basic and Secondary Education, Sonny Idris Nguru, said she has made the state proud. Hence, she deserves to be encouraged for a job well done. Competed. Alongside um, 36 teachers from various states of the Federation. And um, she did us proud. She worked hard and emerged as one of the best 10 participants. So, for the first time, your best state is being blessed with a teacher that is bringing this honor to us as one of the top best teachers in Nigeria. <laughs> you are all aware that um, His Excellency places 
premium on the basic and secondary education, as evident in the declaration of the state of emergency of basic and secondary education from the first day of the emergence of this of the advent of this government. Um, as Allah will have it, we have been recording success, success after success. The teachers in your best state are actually doing um, their best and giving in their best to make sure that this very important sector is revitalized. And His Excellency is committed to making the teachers in your best state happy. Uh, after the competition and with the emergence of Zainab Gambo as one of the top 10 in Nigeria, His Excellency directed me to follow her to, uh, to Lagos to attend and witness this competition so that uh, Zainab Gambo will feel encouraged and do better. We had hoped that uh, uh, th she will come back with the trophy, but as Allah will decide, she has uh, made it among the uh, first ten. I was so happy and proud when um, a video clip was played and I saw this teacher speaking good English and um, giving a very positive narrative about, uh, about teaching and learning. Responding, Zainab Gambo thanked the state government for believing in her and giving her the maximum support during and after the competition. I'm humbled by the remark from the Honorable Commissioner of Education, UB State. When I came, it was a mixed emotion, but eventually when I settled, I said, by the grace of God, the world will know UB started from Nigeria. And with God helping me on my side, we are just starting. I am just starting particularly. As part of measures to cushion the hardship brought by flood on residents of Yobe State, the federal government has donated food items to the state government for onward distribution to the affected persons. The secretary to the state government, Baba Malam Wali, received the items on behalf of the state in Damaturu. <laughs> Addressing journalists after the handover ceremony, leader of the team from the National Emergency Management Agency said the gesture is based on the directives of President Muhammad Buhari to assist affected states. What happened to the, all our states in Nigeria when Pulot devastated almost all the states, as I say, over uh, 500 local governments were seriously affected uh, by this Pulot disaster. And Yobe is not an exception, and uh, it's one of the devastated areas. As the governor said, you, uh, you heard that almost uh, all the main roads that lead to the uh, main local governments within the state were caught up. And uh, uh, His Excellency has directed the repair of that road immediately. Officials of state government appreciated the humanitarian gesture and thanked the president for looking into the plights of the people affected by the flood disaster. This year's 2022 flood has, has come with a high magnitude. It has affected uh, over 31,000 households in Yobe State from May to, to date and it has led to a loss of lives, properties, farmlands and a lot of destruction. But uh, this has not come as uh, unexpected, but the magnitude is high. But NIMED has already released their final earlier this year. And, but then uh, it has come with higher magnitude that we can only do our best. But we are fortunate that uh, NEMA has been responding timely. Since the inception of this uh, uh, disaster, anytime we send them reports, they send their team for assessment from the zonal office, they will come, they will do assessment, and within a short time, they will send relief materials to complement what His Excellency Gwame Malabuni has been doing. And most interesting is the fact that uh, the National Emergency Management Agency has opened up its communication channel so much such that you can directly reach out to them, you can directly communicate to them to lay out your complaints. But we understand the magnitude, and it's happening across the country. But we are grateful today that another uh, consignment of support has reached the state and they are here to deliver it directly and we are, will assure them that just like the previous response that they have been given to us the items will be reached to the intended beneficiaries judiciously. I have to assure you that the, the materials will be distributed directly to the victims of the blood disaster and will be immediately be distributed so that the, it, it will alleviate their suffering. 
The senator representing Yobe East Senatorial District, known as Zone A, Senator Ibrahim Geida, has empowered women and youths with various skills as part of his constituency project. The empowerment program by Senator Geida, a former governor of Yobe State, trained women and youths in bag and shoe making as well as fish farming towards reducing poverty and enhancing well-being of citizens. In an interview with journalists, the coordinator of the project said the skills acquisition program is aimed at ensuring that the beneficiaries become self-employed. Uh, His Excellency Senator Dr. Ibrahim Gaidam uh, is always concerned about the interests of his people at the uh, senatorial level. Uh, at his district, uh, he wants to ensure that uh, all the hardships that are being faced due to the economic crunch are eliminated or reduced to the BRS minimum. Uh, by this, uh, he intends to empower the youth and women in order for them to be able to be self-employed uh, uh, as well as uh, self-sustained. Now, uh, this is not the first time that he has been embarking on projects that will enhance the interests and, and uh, 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 interests of his people. Uh, uh, you know, several projects, uh, skill acquisition projects, have been uh, undertaken in the past, and uh, this is also one of them.